Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to video three in my Race Day Quads Bardwell F7 series. Uh, in video one, we did a list of uh, everything that you need. And in video two, we did this. The frame is all built and the electronics are all soldered and installed. So made a good bit of progress so far. And in video three, we're gonna get into beta flight and we're gonna start configuring everything. All right, so let me reiterate, uh, as I did in the first two videos, that I am not an expert at this. This is only my second F7 build ever. Uh, I don't claim to know everything. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to figure it out as I go along. Uh, however, what I do try to do is pull together all of the information from all of the different sources and put it all in one place in an effort to try to make this easier for those who come after me. So without further ado, let's get into beta flight. All right, so let's get us some beta flight, and the easiest way to do that is to just type in beta flight download. And the first one you're going to see is beta flight home or betaflight.com. I'm going to jump down here to the third one to the GitHub and click on it because this is where we can get the absolute latest and greatest. And all we're going to do, you know, we can read the release notes and read all this information and get familiar with it, everything like that. And if you come down here, you can see beta flight configurator installer for uh, 10.7 and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick the appropriate um, operating system so i'm using windows 64 but i only see an option for this one right here this is the closest option for me so i'm going to go ahead and click on it and if i cinch this up a little bit you can see that it is down here because i'm using chrome so i'm going to go ahead and click on that and i'm going to go ahead and say yes and next and agree and install and wait and eventually you'll get to this screen oh, mine took about five minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and click finish and it is gonna fire up beta flight and come down and click on the icon and there it is there is beta flight uh, come down here in the corner uh, version 10.7.0 now all right, so what I'm going to do at this point now that Betaflight is installed is I'm going to try to plug my flight board into my computer and see if it is recognized uh, via the USB plug. And here I'm going to go ahead and plug into the flight controller right now. And it automatically connected. And don't mind my quad being upside down. It really is upside down on the table. That's not the point. The point is if you tried to plug in and nothing happened that means you don't have the proper drivers now from what i understand if you've got a mac you should have the drivers if you have a pc and you've got the latest and greatest version of windows 10 you should have the drivers if you don't have the drivers you're going to be back on this screen and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this link right here and download at least this driver right here so that you can make a USB connection. All right, so the deal with this driver is it's not as cut and dry as just downloading the driver and installing it. Um, you actually have to give them your email address and create an account with them um, so that you can get the driver. So a little bit of a runaround, a couple hurdles to jump over, but uh, that is what you need to be able to get Betaflight to connect to your flight controller. Once you do that, if we go and we look at believe it or not, the directions. Um, there's another thing that you can get here called the Impulse RC Driver Fixer. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Save File. And it's saved to the folder where I saved stuff. So I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to click on it. So you can see there where it says searching for flight controller. Well, it's not going to find one because mine's not plugged in yet. And the reason for that is because if I go back to these directions, it says run the driver. It will instruct you to plug in your flight controller. And then while holding down the bootloader button, plug the flight controller into your PC. So let's see what happens there. So it's searching for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold down the boot button which literally is right next to um, where you plug in your USB. 
when I did that. And now I'm going to let go of the bootloader button. And it says success drivers fixed. I'm just going to kind of disconnect and reconnect. All right, so now everything should be working good. If we come down and we look at the firmware that we have, we have Betaflight 4.2.0. And there's just some information here that's important as it pertains to the firmware uh, for Betaflight and uh, the version of Configurator that we have. So let's do this. All right, so we're running 4.2.0. Let's see what the latest firmware is. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect and then I'm going to go ahead and say update firmware. And it looks like the latest, it, it actually all automatically defaulted to JBF7, which is what I have. If you've got a DJI, if you've got a DJI system, uh, then you'll want to this one. But I'm going to go ahead and just select this one and 4.2.5. All right, so before I do this firmware update, I want to get a backup of what I already have. So I am going to go ahead and reconnect. And then I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to go to CLI. Once you get to the CLI screen, type the word dump and hit enter. And it gives you, I think, pretty much every single parameter chosen for the flight board. So there's everything. I'm going to go ahead and say copy to clipboard. It says copied. Go in here where my documents are, and I'm going to go ahead and say new text document. I'm just going to name it JBF7 Factory and paste in. All right, so I named it JBF7 Factory and I pasted it in, and I'm just going to hit file, save. That way, if anything goes bad during my firmware flash, uh, I'll have all this stuff. So get out of that and get out of this and go ahead and disconnect. All right, so now I feel pretty comfortable going to update firmware and JBF7 is already pre-selected for me. If you have DJI gear, then you'll want to select the DJI one. But for me, I have analog goggles, so I'm just going to go with this one. And if you, can, if you notice, it's uh, an update to 4.2.5. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to load firmware online. And there it is. And now I'm going to try to flash the firmware. All right, mine worked beautifully. And at this point, I can just go ahead and hit connect. And there's my upside down quad because it really is upside down. And then if I come down here, you can see that the firmware is Betaflight 4.2.5. All right, if yours didn't go as smoothly as mine, check out the directions straight from the documentation. It says sometimes the computer isn't able to put it into bootloader mode, and it says to manually put the board in a bootloader mode, hold down the bootloader button while plugging the USB cable, leave the button, press for a moment, blah, 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 blah. You see what it says here. So uh, in the event that yours... Uh, failed during the firmware update try it this way and there is your bootloader button right there right next to the usb all right so this represents a good place to stop for this video uh, what we're going to do next in the next video is we've got to bind our quad to our receiver so that uh we can start so that we can start using our radio and we're going to get back into beta flight and we are going to configure everything uh, and then pretty much after that we should be good to go for our maiden flight all right so i'm steve i hope you found a benefit in this video if you did please like comment and subscribe and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video